Today, we're just going to have a quick look at how we can use the two times table to help us if we forget something in the four and eight times tables. In front of you, you've got a multiplication grid. So just before we start looking at the two, four, and eight times tables, let's just make sure we can all read the multiplication grid. If we wanted to calculate 5 multiplied by 3 on the multiplication grid, we'd go across from 5 and down from 3. And if we use two fingers at the same time, we'll see that if we go across from 5 and down from 3, we get 5 times 3 is 15. OK. On this multiplication grid, I've highlighted for you the 2 times table, the 4 times table, and the 8 times table. In other words, here's 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, etc. Here's 1 times 4, 2 times 4, 3 times 4, etc. And here's 1 times 8, 2 times 8, 3 times 8, etc. What I want you to do is have a look across the 2 times table the 4 times table and the 8 times table, and see if you can see any relationship between what is happening as you move across. Pause the video now and have a look if you can see any pattern that's happening between the 2 times table, 4 times table, and 8 times table. OK, I hope you did have a chance to have a look, and I hope that you noticed that basically if we go from 2 to 4, we're just multiplying by 2. And from 4 to 8, we're just multiplying by 2. And the same thing then happens anywhere across the tables. So here, if we go from the 2 times table to the 4 times table, we multiplied by 2. 14 times 2 gives me 28. And from here to here, we go 28 times 2 gets me to 56. This means it's very easy to work from the 2 times table to get something in the 4 times table or the 8 times table. All we need to do is double it. So if we know, for example, that 2 times 12 is 24, then 4 times 12 will just be 24 times 2. In other words, 24 plus 24, which is 48. And 12 times 8 will just be double of 48, in other words, 48 times 2, which is 48 plus 48, which is 96. So, let's imagine we were given 7 times 8 to do, and we couldn't remember it. Well, we can go back and do 7 times 2, which is one we know very well, and we get our answer of 14. We can then work our way up and say, well, 7 times 4 will just be double that, right? It'll just be 14 times 2, which is 14 plus 14, which is 28. And then our 7 times 8 is just going to be double the 28. In other words, 28 times 2, which is 28 plus 28, which gets us 56. So, if we forget something in the 8 or the 4 times table, we can go back to the 2 times table and quickly get to our answer just by using doubling.